Let's take a look at how Lumion 6 has expanded and improved on Entourage. So here you see a pretty, uh, pretty crowded scene full of uh, cars and people and trees. So really, um, each new release of Lumion comes with uh, you know, several new trees and plants and people and probably cars and objects in general and sounds. So that's to be expected. But in Lumion 6, it's really this quality release. So we've got improved features for not only the cars, but also the 3D people. So check this out. Uh, if I kind of like zoom in on, on this traffic, uh, this, this is a project we worked on this summer. It's kind of a, it's cool, a cool project, not necessarily in design, but really it was meant to uh, illustrate this entire road in California. So it's like an entire mile of road that we build a model of and then, um, you know, landscaped and Lumion. And it's kind of impressive how fast this thing actually runs. So uh, maybe just take a lap through the project so you can see just how extensive this one is. Uh, it's really huge. So again, uh, always kind of relating back to these other blog posts, we've got several geo models in here. Uh, we used um, a bunch of different plugins to create the terrain. Uh, really, Valley Architects, that's a critical plugin for, for working with terrain. Uh, Artisan Tools came in really handy on this one, too. So anyway, you can see, you know, we, we really use these model types uh, that we talk about, the um, geo models a lot, or the photo textured models. But Anyway, so that's a quick lap through the project. And so with something like this, we've got a ton of cars and a ton of people. And I want to show you not only these new features, but also how to make some, some good selections. So let's look at the, the issue that uh, is being solved here. So if, if I kind of drop down to eye level here and just take a look at these cars, you can see as far as an animation goes or a, a rendering goes, it's not exactly convincing because there's nobody in these cars and not that you can really see all of them but like when you do see that it really kind of uh, takes the the life out of it so anyway what we're gonna do is uh, add some people to the cars now to do that I can just kind of drop down and this way we'll see the person come into play I'm, I'm uh, in the object mode I want to go to my move mode and you can see here I was kind of goofing around a little bit I had all these filters turned on or uh, filtering these guys off. So really what you can do is if you're having a hard time making a selection, it's nice to turn these filters on and basically eliminate the ability to select all of these other different categories. So now I can just select uh, the cars or the transportation uh, transport, transport category. All right, so what I'll do is I'll go to context menu and I'll click on really any car. It brings up my first context menu and I'll click on selection. And then I'm going to go to uh, all similar categories. So select all similar category. When I do that, grabs all my cars in the entire model. So kind of slick to be able to grab all those at the same time. And then I'm going to go to edit properties. When I click on that little pencil there, it brings up my, my properties. And it says show driver. I'll click on on. And now you can see we've got kind of a silhouette of a driver in all of my vehicles. So really, it's not one of those critical things. It's not going to make or break your project, but it sure does make it look a little more convincing when you catch a glimpse of a driverless car. You know, it's nice to just see that silhouette of drivers sitting there. All right, so we're good there. So that's a pretty easy way to do that. I can click on this deselect all to kill that selection. Now, here's the other thing. With people, sometimes it's not totally desirable to have these people with as much detail as they have right now. Sometimes it's kind of nice to, to fade the people out and maybe uh, make them like all solid white or all solid black. So what you can do there is the same technique. Uh, I'm going to turn off the people filter and I'll filter my, my cars. Uh, really not critical for this move, but it's kind of good to know about that. I'll click on context menu and then click on selection and select all similar category. All right, so now all the people in my entire model are selected. I'll click on Edit Properties, and now you can go to Coloring. So this is a new feature in Lumion 6, is the ability to change them to all black or to all white. So it seems like, I don't know, lately I've kind of been on the kick to make them uh, black silhouettes. So we'll deselect all, 
and then I'm going to go back to uh, we'll just go back to weather mode just so I don't have any selections and let's take a lap down this again so you can see that now the people aren't quite as dominant I guess you know it's more the landscape I'm seeing and not so much of this activity of the people um, yeah, what are, you know just depends on what style you're going for with the rendering but um, you know it's kind of nice because these 3d people we, we always had the ability to do 2d silhouettes but now we have the ability to animate 3d people and really make our our animations um, just a little more artsy creative and somatic cinematic so that's pretty cool new feature in Lumion 6 uh, I kind of lumped all these features together as just uh, I'm psyched about the fact that there's improved and expanded entourage so take a stab at that enjoy and uh, we'll see you in the next tutorial